Hello and welcome to this training class from Core Fun Inc. on how to use the My Blog blogging component within the Joomla content management system. What we see in this screen capture is the My Blog component homepage and the blog tags to the left, which is a module that works with the My Blog tool. This is showing the view of a non registered user or a user who may be registered but is not allowed to blog. If I switch over to this view, I can actually see that in addition to the home tags, search, and RSS feed, I now also have a My Account and a Write New Entry option available to me. These are options that are only shown to users who are allowed to blog. My blog can be used in a multi-blogger environment or it can be used to run your own personal blog as part of your Joomla content management system. What we're going to do now is we are going to look at writing a new entry. I will click on the Write New Entry and the My Blog dashboard will pop up. What I'm going to do now is click into the title block, just click in and go ahead and give it a title. Welcome to Jim Reeves Online. What I will do now is come down into the content management area and I will actually enter the blog. I've got a couple of options here. I can either compose my blog online just by keying the information in directly to the text editor window or I could come here click on this box pop open a paste box and use control V or depending on my system a right click and a paste in order to compose my blog in Microsoft Word and then simply paste it in. I'm not necessarily a big fan of pasting from Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word tends to put a lot of extraneous uh, control characters as well as coding into the text and that can cause problems for some browsers. What I prefer to do if I'm going to compose offline would be either to use Pages, which is a Mac product, or if I'm in a Microsoft uh, Windows space, I like to use either Notepad or WordPad if I'm going to compose. Alternatively, you can compose in Word and then paste the text into Notepad, for example, in order to scrub all those extra characters, or into WordPad, and then paste into here. You can give it a try, though. It's not going to hurt anything. If you would like to paste directly from Word, if it works for you and for your site, given your system, not a problem. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just compose a little bit of text here online. I am happy that you came by my blog. I hope to be engaging in the posts that I am uh, writing. Okay, So that's just a little introductory sentence. Now let's talk about what we have here in our tool. These are very easy to understand commands. Uh, I can highlight text for example here, click B for bold, I can highlight additional text and click U for underline, I for italics, I can put a strike through, this is my unordered list so that I could put bullet points, this is an ordered list for putting numerical bullet points, this indents my text to the right, this outdents my text to the left, this aligns my text to the left, align center, align right, and then I also have my link commands here. If I would like to make engaging, for example, a link, then I can highlight engaging. I can click the link icon. It will bring up a uh, window for me to actually then type in where I want to link it to. So let's say I wanted to link it to www.google.com. I can do that. Okay. And if I would like that link to come up in a pop-up, I can use the pop-up command here so that I actually give it uh, a JavaScript pop-up option so that instead of loading a new page, it will load in a pop-up over my existing page. Then I have also an option if I choose not to use that pop-up, let's turn that off. I do have the option also for target. Do I want the link if a user clicks on it to open in this frame or do I want to open in a new frame which would be target equals blank. So I can then click insert and 
notice that I now have a different color text and it also is underlined indicating that this is actually a link. If I wanted to get rid of that link I can highlight it and then I can click the icon next to it which would be unlink and now my link is gone. This is my uh, insert edit image and we're going to look at that a little bit later. My undo always also control C my redo this is my uh, remove formatting so if I for example took a shortcut and pasted in text from a, another website came in and have had a bunch of uh, formatting a bunch of font classes or span classes I could actually highlight that text click the eraser tool and try to remove all that formatting the paste the paste from word we've already talked about this is a very important feature what this does allows me to write an introductory text, introductory paragraph, some intro text. This is my intro text. Then do a, a return, click on read more, and then this is the rest of my text. Now a lot of blogging tools don't allow you to do that. You write an entry, and then on the pa front page of your blog, there's your entry. You wrote 20 paragraphs, 20 paragraphs it is. The My Blog tool allows you to put a read more in because that way you get more different articles on the front page of your blog. And there's a button that says read more or you can also click on the title of the blog. You click on the read more or the title and the user can then complete the rest of the article. It's just a way of being able to publish more information in a shorter space. I skipped a little over the uh, paragraph these are for your various heading classes so regular paragraph is just regular plain vanilla text if I wanted to make something large what I would do is I would come down I would say this is my title and then I would select it and then I could come here and make it say a heading one and then come here for example and make it a line and then I could take off that period so the heading classes your template will already have predefined classes for heading 1, 2, and 3. And I highly recommend that you use those instead of any type of custom font. Then you also have pre-formatted and block quote. Block quotes are really nice. Highlight some text and then wrap it in a block quote. Most commercial templates are going to have some nice treatment for that block quote. So it's a, just a great way of making your text stand out. We come over to the right. Notice that we have a publish and unpublish. If I am working on a blog and do not want to go ahead and have it be visible, I can keep it in an unpublished state. That way I can see it, but no one else can. Generally, it'll default to published. If I would like to schedule the publication to occur in the future, then I can do that using the publish date. I would set that date in the future for example January 6th and then even if I leave it in a published state which I should the uh, general public will not be able to see that blog until the date rolls around so it's a good way if you're going on vacation would like to stack a few blogs and have them automatically publish that would be a good way of doing it categories uh, typically speaking when I deliver or core fund delivers my the my blog component as a personal blogging tool tend not to use category just tend to use blog tags but if you are running a multi blogger site that is covering a lot of different topics you may want to go ahead and set up categories that way you can link to them from the menu and have different categories of articles but for a personal blog uh, for example in this case an author often just look at having the tags themselves be the organization. And that concludes the first part of the training on the My Blog blogging component for the Joomla Content Management System from CoreFun Inc. Please tune in to the second part of this training, also published on YouTube. Thank you.